This is Errol Marks from the Worldwide Sports Radio Network. We're here with Eric Davis at the Mac Center. Eric, what was it like playing in the major leagues for such a long time? Tiresome. No, nah, it was fun. You really didn't know what to expect. When I got into pro ball, and that's your admiration, is to make it to the major leagues and stuff. I've been a baseball fan my whole life, growing up in South Central Los Angeles. But the hardest thing was when I really got there, seeing the guys up close that you were watching on TV, like the Tom Seavers and Steve Carlton, and being in training camp with the big red machine and stuff. It was a humbling, mind-blowing, crazy type of situation, watching how good these guys really are. When you look at the Home Run Derby, and you won the Home Run Derby, what was it like winning the home run derby? It was fantastic. It was almost like winning the slam dunk contest and stuff like that, but we didn't have all the rounds. And if you ask Dr. J when he first won it in the 70s, the late 70s and stuff, you might have had four or five dunks. Now they got 2,000 swings, and it's almost like a job now. So I don't even know if I would get in it right now because it's just too much work. Eric, who's the greatest pitcher you ever had to face against? I would probably say Nolan Ryan because he was at the top of his game. If you throw that many no-hitters and then he'd probably double that with one hitter so you know how how tough he really was. If he had his breaking ball on the right-hander, it was good night. When you look at the league now and the change of the game, there's one guy that's still not inducted into the Hall of Fame, Pete Rose. Do you believe he should be inducted into the Hall of Fame? Yeah, because everybody get to bed now, but it's a museum. The people that are in control of someone's destiny shouldn't be in control of someone's destiny. It's not a private firm. He's not doing anything differently. It's a museum, and if you've given to the game what he's given to the game, you've got murderers who've gotten leniency and stuff like that. So it's time for the Hall of Fame and all these guys that voting to get off their ass and stop the bullshit. We're here with Eric Davis here at the Mac Center, and this is Errol Marks.